to keep tapping like that. You blow the stack of protoplasm. The current day examples of shows that I think were influenced by Ren and Stimpy are all of the shows. Why won't they leave me? Ren and Stimpy was an anomaly in its time. It was an artist-driven show. I thought I was having an acid flashback. Ren and Stimpy opened the doors saying to everyone out there, no more rules. Happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy. It's like I'm working on a show that is revolutionizing TV animation. And it all emanated from John. We all kind of thought that John was going to be the next Walt Disney. People always ask me if I identify with either of them. Well, I'm not going to say that I identify with an idiot, but I, I, I guess I do identify with an ass. Shows were delivering months late. That pissed off the advertisers big time. We did get death threats. His behavior got really bad. It was just like you lived in the kingdom of John, and he's sick. Is there anything you would have done differently? I shut the camera off. I'll give you a super honest answer. Hi there, movie lovers. Debbie here with today's movie fact. Did you know that in the first draft of the Back to the Future screenplay, the time machine wasn't a DeLorean car, it was actually just a refrigerator. Let's just let that sink in. For more updates, remember to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content, and you can get my t-shirt at the link right below this video.